We'd like to welcome everyone to the post-game press conference for Texas A&M. Please silence your cell phones, and a reminder, no video recording, please. I'm up here with Texas A&M head coach Gary Blair and two players, key players from tonight's game, Sierra Johnson and Shambria Washington. Uh, we will start with an opening statement from Coach Blair, then we will address questions to the student athletes. When you're asking a student athlete a question, please address her by name, that really helps us out. If you'd like to ask a question, please raise your hand and a microphone will be brought to you. If you could state your name and media affiliation, we would appreciate it. Once the student athletes are dismissed, we will take questions for Coach Blair. With that, Coach Blair, please begin. First, let's give Arkansas the credit. After they, had, they went through the first quarter, they cut the lead down at the end of the first quarter, and basically they won or played even with us every quarter after that. It has nothing to do with being tired or what. I thought they out-toughed us. They made the threes down the stretch, and they got the offensive rebounds on long rebounds and on hustle plays. Those are things that a championship team has to do to win or it will cause you to lose. And that's what happened to us. And we did had 21 turnovers tonight against a zone, and we had 26 last night. That's all on us. Sierra was getting double teamed and sometimes triple teamed. She's got to make the pass or she's got to be able to finish because they're the same defense is going to be run tomorrow against McGowan, and that's what everybody has to do. They were doing it because she had played such a perfect game inside that they couldn't stop her. And offensively, she was pretty good. Defensively, she was pretty good. She'll work on her passing skills, just like I'll work on my coaching skills, and Sham will work on her leadership skills. That's something all of us have to do. We take this as a team. There's not one officiating call that hurt us, nothing. It was on us and how well Arkansas executed down the stretch. We said uh, the Stars are going to want the ball at the end. And they ran a play for Dungy that was wide open. It's the same pop play that everybody in the league runs and lack of communications. That's what Stars want. We had done a great job on her the whole night. She only had 17 compared to what she'd been shooting. I thought we did a great job defensively. They shot 33%, 35 from the three. And uh, that's their game. But what we didn't do was execute our half-court offense from about the middle of the second quarter on. It was hit, miss, hit, miss. You can't win a game that way. Arkansas deserves to be in the NCAA tournament. Heck with somebody's computer, okay? If a team is playing that good at the end of the year, reward them. Heck with the six and ten finish they were in every ball game. They deserve to be in the NCAA tournament, and I hope it. We deserve to still be a number four seed. Okay? Our body of work, and when we're healthy in a week from now, we'll be the same old Texas A&M that has earned the number four seed, and I hope all these experts out there and committee members will realize how good of a basketball team we are. We got beat by the hottest team in the SEC. Not the best team, but the hottest team. And sometimes that's all you have to be is hot during tournament time and you move on. Questions? Questions, questions for questions my players. For the student athletes? I'll well, ask one. I'll ask. Go ahead. I'll go first, and you can go second. Go. Sierra, Coach talked a little bit about that um, kind of the offensive breakdown, not being able to execute from about mid-second quarter on. What contributed to that? Um, well, I turned the ball over a lot, 
in the second half, so that contributed to most of it. You can't score if you turn it over. So, and a lot of them were live ball turnovers, giving them the opportunity to run down and shoot wide open threes. So a lot of that's on me, not being able to pass out of a double or triple team. But at the s same time, she held their two five players to one point. One point, both of their two five players. Defensively, she did an excellent job. Shambria, coming into this game, um, Coach Blair just mentioned Arkansas is kind of the hot team of this SEC tournament. Is that something the team addressed going into the game? Um, when we played them last Sunday, I think we did a good job of uh, executing on offense and uh, knowing defensively what we needed to do. And tonight, um, we started off, you know, pretty hard. And then the execution comes from me as well. I'm the point guard. I'm supposed to run the ball club, you know. And when I see my post players in trouble, I have to demand the ball and just kind of keep us poised. And um, Arkansas is playing very good basketball right now. Um, I just don't think we were tough enough, like Coach uh, touched on earlier. Um, and that comes from all of us, but especially me, because I'm supposed to set the tempo. So um, when we get back, I'm going to work on that. And I think we can um, move forward from there. Did you have anything else you wanted to address with your players, Coach? David, you have anything? Appreciate the tournament. Excellent run tournament. Good thing, good crowd, and uh, hopefully everybody will stay over the crowd for the Arkansas-Mississippi State game tomorrow. It'll be a good basketball game. Thank you, Kara. Thank you, Coach Blair. Thank you, ladies. Questions now for Coach Blair. Uh, Coach, you kind of spoke to this earlier, but any other things you can add to uh, what Mike Davers has been able to do in such a short time at Arkansas? The best hire I think I ever made when I got him from high school where he was making 72000 and I hired him for 14000 that was a tremendous hire that I had. Mike and I have been friends for a long time, but he's one of the innovative guys in coaching. From his blog that he did uh, to he gives back to the game. And there's so few coaches that do that because sometimes the eye in their forehead or the emphasis on winning becomes paramount, and they're not able to do it. Mike speaks all over the country. He does everything for the game. That's his strength. Arkansas better realize what they have in him, and he's a special coach. He's going to do a special job for them, and I'm just proud to say that uh, Mike was part of my tree. The other part of my tree is who he's going to have to play tomorrow. So good luck. Mike, good luck, Vic. <laughs> Any other questions? All right, I appreciate y'all. Thank you. Thank you, Coach Blair.